Joe and I came home hungry from a dental appointment today, so I'm rushing in the kitchen to see if we have the ingredients to make Belizean garnaches. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you're looking for authentic Belizean recipes, then you're in the right place. My name is Barbara, and this is Cooking Made Simple. All right, so I don't know if I have any tomato sauce, so let's go over to the pantry and see if we have any. Yes, I found one. So I got tomato sauce. All right, so hopefully these beans are good. Joined me these beans like five days ago. This is some Belizean stew beans. I have a video here at the side already on this. Yeah, it smells good. So the sauce, I really wish that I had some El Pato because that would make it hot and spicy, but it's gonna, it's gonna have to work. Look, only this little bit of tortilla left. I'm also gonna need onion and Parmesan cheese. Go ahead and screenshot this, guys, because these are the ingredients. Oh yes, I see Parmesan. I think we have, and I don't think Parmesan is supposed to go in the fridge. I think that's one of those things that don't need the fridge. All right, so this is all we need. We have a little skillet here with some oil. I'm gonna put a little bit more. This is what we did the potato wedges in the other day when I did the vlog. Just go add some more oil to that because it's still good. And then this is for the refried beans. So let me grab my oil. So let me take care of the pan for the refried beans first. This is some butter. And by the way, this recipe calls for Dutch cheese, but if you don't have any, you would replace it with the Parmesan. So that's why I grabbed the Parmesan, okay? Let me go ahead and start dicing this half of onion. You know, I was at Costco the other day and there was a guy in there doing a, um, a display with some expensive knives. Not going to say the name because they don't um, support the show. <laughs> and the guy was like, you have a cooking show? Go ahead and cut. I'm like, I have no knife skills. Why would I want to cut with that? I cut off my finger. And so all I know is that you have to tuck your fingers in when you're cutting. And for onions, I just go, okay, calm down. Simmer down. Mm -hmm. I like the refried beans with butter. So let me get some of the beans in here. I'm gonna do more than I think I need because somebody will come and go, I don't want the garnaches, but I'd like to refry beans with some fried jack or something. And this is how I refry beans. I just squish it. And I am using a metal thing in that pot because that pot, oh, but in my new pots, mm -mm, I use this one. All right, so my oil is heating up, dicing the tomatoes, tomatoes, the onion. Where's my brain? Um, a lot of people for garnaches will just dice up the onion and put it in some vinegar and water and just put the beans, the onion, and the cheese. We don't do that. In my household, we were taught to put the tomato sauce and not ketchup. Joshua is running camera. You can talk, Joshua. Oh. <laughs> yes, I hate ketchup on granaches. We went to Belize one time and a good friend up. invited us for granaches and he put ketchup and he just like, <laughs> squeezing the ketchup and Joshua almost died. Joshua's like, what? No, that's not how we make it. So I know I'm going to spark a debate here at the page with people saying, that's how my grandma make it. We make it with ketchup. Well, I'm telling you, I left Belize in 1981 and I ate plenty of garnaches before then and plenty since then. And we've always made it with some type of tomato sauce, all right? Which ketchup is made with tomato sauce, but they put other stuff in that, you know? So I'm just squishing. I'm going to turn the fire a little bit to medium. When that's ready, we're going to start frying. Oh, meanwhile, back at the ranch, let me grab a little, a little um, saucepan because we're going to open this with the onion and I don't have any El Pato, so it is what it is. I washed off the top of the tin and pierced two holes. So let me just go ahead and dump out the tomato sauce. This is an eight ounce can, by the way. And then the diced up onion. You can use one small onion or half of a medium onion. Let me get some water in the tin to wash it out so I can get all the stuff that's inside. And then put it on the simmer burner right here behind the beans. The beans are still refrying. Now let me go ahead and start frying one of the tortillas. Man, these tor <laughs> this tortilla looks bad. <laughs> but you know what, it's gonna work. I do have garnaches here at the page already and here at the site, but the reason that I'm redoing it right now is just to show you that you can run home, hungry from a demo visit, and just make something, you know, and I don't have all the ingredients for it. I don't have the El Pato, you know, and I don't have a whole lot of tortilla. Some people are not going to get none, 
but at least we have a little bit that we could put it together see this these are broken up man this one have freezer burn look look this is burned up from the fridge can't use this but I wanted you to see a bare pantry meal, all right? So let me check my turkey before it burns because I can't afford to lose any today. Check on my beans. And I'll be back in the jiffy. Let me make sure this one doesn't burn. And then season the sauce with some black pepper and salt. I'm not going to put too much salt because the tomato sauce in the can already has salt, all right? So this is done. Oh, let me put some hot sauce to make up for the fact that we didn't have any El Pato. Now it's done. So now let me go ahead and build two of the garnaches. The refried beans goes down first and put a lot, okay? Well, I like a lot. Let me spread it out. And then the next layer will be the tomato sauce with the onions. And like I said earlier, some people will just put the onion soaked in vinegar. That's fine too, but I like it like this. And that, my friends, is how you make a good Belizean garnaches. Load it with the fried beans, put the sauce, put the... Oh, my mouth is watering, but I have to go take my thumbnail. But then I need somebody to stand here and fry. I have a dilemma. Oh. When this one don't fry, we're outside. I'll take my thumbnail, and then I'm going to come back in and taste. All right. So I enlisted Joe to come and help me fry. Joe, you bought up the thing. What are you bored of? So this month of June is Caribbean American Appreciation Month. I finally got it right. And it's also Joshua's birthday month. His birthday is on June 18th, all right? So I don't know if I'm Caribbean American though, because I'm straight up Caribbean. I was born in Belize, right? I think my kids that were born here are Caribbean American. I don't know. In any case, some of you are going to come for me and go, Belize is not Caribbean, it's Central American. I beg to differ, it's both, because we have the Caribbean Sea to the east of us, all right? Anywho. Let's taste. Mm, mm, mm. The dance is back. <laughs> Come on, we use our one. One, the thing is good, and two, I don't want to get burnt. All that stuff has water in it because it was sitting in the back of the fridge. You guys, I didn't know I wanted to do this, so I didn't check the tortilla. Let me check for anything. So that's what I had and what I did. You want some? All for me then. He's going to get some, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. And remember to check out the other video that I have here already on garnaches at great length. This is just a fun little impromptu one, all right? Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload another video. Also, check out my Belizean cookbook at fairpantryshow.com. Bye now.